My name is Susie and currently I facilitate the caregiver support group and this is run on the second and the last Monday of every month, 4 to 6 p.m. And what this group consists of is there are a group of caregivers for cancer patients and it's typically a wide range of ages, genders, different people and what we do is we discuss very relevant topics to what they may be facing. Um, some of these include like caregiver burnout, um, tips and tricks to get certain resources that they might not have been aware about, um, and just maybe difficult situations or hurdles they've been facing, whether it be in the hospital or more on their personal life. And I think that this, this group is really just a great chance for caregivers to meet others that are in similar situations um, to them and just have someone who can relate to their situation and empathize and hear different perspectives and small things that people have learned along their caregiver journey and share their experiences to help make it just that much, just a little bit easier for each other. And it really is a great group and I feel like all the members are very supportive of each other. So I am very grateful for the opportunity to help facilitate this group. I think Four there's two different ones that come to mind. <laughs> I guess you can choose whichever one you want to include. I would say the first one is really just trying to put yourself in. I think as the caregiver, it is a really unique situation. The experience and the journey of a loved one going through cancer and I think that this group is really good at bringing up other perspectives maybe of the cancer patient or another family member that's helping you and just kind of helping each other reflect on the emotions that someone might be feeling or why they may have acted a certain way and I feel like being able to reflect on these situations and react very empathetically is just something that caregivers do on a regular basis and it really just helps them strengthen that skill and improve their relationships with their loved ones. Then I think the second one is kind of more help just navigating the healthcare system. I think the healthcare system is something that is very difficult and also very intimidating to navigate through and I think that with a cancer diagnosis, it can be very overwhelming and shocking and you do need support. Now, trying to figure out what steps do I need to take? Who do I talk to? Where do I, what do I do next? And I think that this group is really great at breaking down the steps. So kind of, instead of it being this whole big overwhelming experience, We'll kind of say okay well the first thing that they found really helpful was doing this immediately or here's this contact number to get a personal support worker or here is this resource at this specific hospital that i found really great and i think that just breaking it down a little bit and making it seem more manageable and having more actionable steps can really help the whole family and experience and break it, just make it feel like it's more manageable and feel like you can tackle anything. So the caregiver support group runs on the second and the last Monday of every month from 4 to 6 p.m. And currently right now, the group is run fully over Zoom and it has the online format because a lot of these caregivers are from different places around Southwestern Ontario. We even have some that are near Kingston area. And a lot of the time as caregivers, they're often using any spare time they have to try to run errands or keep track of appointments or medications. And we just found that keeping the online method was the best for the flexibility for people to join. We've even had people pull over on the side of the road to take the call because they were excited to join. Um, but yeah, it just provides some flexibility when the schedules get busy. I think for me, my my first experience with cancer and a really close one was my grandma. Um, she had breast cancer and then it later spread and she unfortunately passed away when I was younger. And 
this was something that was very upsetting and I saw the burden I had on my family and trying to help take care of her and just emotionally the toll and I think that that's really what got me wanting to start volunteering and helping out with those um, that are also going through similar experiences. So I went to the University of Waterloo and so I've been very close to the Kitchener-Waterloo region and one of my close friends actually was volunteering at Hope Spring and she mentioned that she thought I would really like it there. <laughs> And so she kind of referred me and I started at Hope Spring seven years ago, helping more with the administration side and volunteering at the clinic in person. And even though I'm not in Waterloo right now, I do really like everything that Hope Spring stands for. And I'm happy that I'm still given the opportunity to be able to contribute, even though I no longer live in Waterloo. I think one of the things that intrigued me was the fact that it's a very longitudinal group. And so I really get to build long lasting relationships with a lot of the members. And we do have a lot of regulars that come every week or every other week or as much as they can. And I really think it is so special to be able to hear bi-weekly updates and hear how their life is progressing and be there for them, whether it be good news or bad news, and um, just kind of be able to be a, like a steady presence throughout their journey. It's something that I really value, and I think that I've really enjoyed with facilitating the caregiver support group. A typical support group will kind of start a little more casually. We'll kind of go around, give any quick or big updates that are going on with everyone's lives. Um, especially for those who may have missed a few groups or a few sessions, there might be any big updates or that they would want to share. Um, at the beginning is typically when, if there's a new member, they'll also get the chance to introduce themselves if that's something they feel comfortable with and share their journey and their experience. And then after that, we'll kind of, sometimes the members will suggest or I will notice a certain theme that pops up and we will bring that up. Um, for example, I know one that we had recently or one that we've had over the last year that is a recurring topic was how to have conversations and deal with being a caregiver during the pandemic. And that was very challenging for some of the members, um, especially when people have different views or perspectives and just trying to understand that and just try to navigate the healthcare system when it is very scary during the pandemic. Or another one that we will talk about is caregiver burnout. So we'll discuss how each person is what they're currently doing. So are they scheduling time with family and friends or are they going, doing anything physical or what, tips and tricks they're finding to help like relieve some stress or just relieve some of the duties or tasks that they have to do on a regular basis. And so this is kind of a chance to not only share what they're doing, but also brainstorm ideas or see what other people are struggling with and see how they can contribute or interact. And I think that the group does overall keep a very casual and conversational structure. I think sometimes we'll bring it up like main topics as they come up, but I think that it is really important to make sure that everyone's having a chance to talk and share their experiences and make sure everyone feels heard and gets a chance to just share. And I think that's really the main purpose of the group. I would say new members are always welcome to our caregiver support group. I think it is a really great opportunity. Um, all the members are very welcoming and will be there with open arms and excited to hear your story and wanting to help and discuss and chat as much as possible. I think that I really want to emphasize that there is a wide range of people in there. So there are, you will find someone that you will connect with at, on some level and yeah. I, I am very happy with the group and I think that it is a very positive and 
supportive and open group of people.